All right, in this lesson, I want to do a super quick review of raw strings. So whenever you're constructing a regular expression pattern, you're generally going to be doing it with a raw string to avoid any potential conflicts with characters in Python. So as we know throughout the course, there are certain escape characters that Python interprets differently from regular characters. For example, slash n indicates a new line. So right here, if I print something like this, I'll print a string that I'll begin with a tab by doing slash t, take a look, there's a tab and line break right here. And right after the word break right here, I'm actually gonna add a line break by doing slash n and I'll output this on the right hand side. We're going to see that Python interprets those things like slash t and slash n as special characters and it processes them and displays them differently. Slash t makes a tab so we can see this space right before take a look and slash n creates a line break so you can see it's added a line break right here after break. So these have been interpreted in a specific way. And many times when you're dealing with regex, you want your slashes and many times the characters like this to indicate different things. So you wanna make sure they're not accidentally interpreted as something like a line break. So let's compare this result with one that we create with a raw string. All we need to do to create a raw string is to place the lowercase character r before the string. In fact, I think you can do it with a capital R, but every time I see it, it's always lowercase, so stick with that. So all that this does is it makes Python interpret the string literally, which means every single character will be presented as is. So slash t will not be interpreted as a tab. It will be interpreted as literally the character slash followed by literally the character t. And similarly, slash n will not be a line break. It's going to be literally the character slash followed by n. So when I output this on the right-hand side, you can see it prints it out exactly as it's presented. And it's important for us to preserve these things because remember, regular expressions are their own sub-language within Python. There are rules to how we have to write the regular expressions language, as we'll come to see, to designate specific patterns, right? And so it's important that we don't accidentally mix that with Python. So whenever you're going to be creating uh, strings to represent patterns, it's always a good idea to make them raw strings. Make sure you begin it with a capital R, okay? That's all there is to cover in this lesson. I'll see you in the next one.